Joining us from University of North Dakota, men's head basketball coach Paul Sather, student athletes Mitchell Suker and BJ Omont. Again, as normal format goes, we'll do an opening statement from coach. We'll take questions for the student athletes, dismiss the student athletes, then get back to questions for coach. Before your questions, please identify your name and your organization that you're with. Give me a signal and we'll make sure we get to everybody. Go ahead with your opening statement, Coach. Yeah, you know, first off, I want to congratulate the Oral Roberts. That's, those are hard games because uh, the probably the expectation. Um, I just really feel like they showed a they showed us a lot of respect by the amount of energy and, and effort that they played with right out of the gate. I, I just think they felt like they needed to come out and really be ready to play, and we didn't match that early in the game. Um, and I thought that was the difference. You know, when you look at points off turnovers and second chance points, that's a, there's a wide wide margin. Um, but, but, uh, that's a, that's a really good team we played, but, but more importantly, it's just, a it's a really, it's a really veteran, um, good group of guys. Like, I, I think the one thing Laura Roberts has got going for him is that they, uh, they got really good young people on their team, um, and good leadership, but I'm proud of our guys, man. Like I, I just, uh, I thought our guys came out. Um, it was hard for us early, but man, we kept fighting. Uh, halftime, uh, these guys came out in the second half and we responded those first four minutes. We won the first four minutes. We lost the second four minutes. We won the next four minutes. Like that was the whole idea is let's come out and win these next four minutes. Let's keep winning the next four minutes. These guys just kept fighting. And they showed the, the kind of character we have in our team. Got guys going through this for the first time. And and, and you know, Oral Roberts went through this for the first time a few years back. Um, but, you know, we're going through it. A little bit, but but where we are right now compared to where we were last year at this time, uh, it's a it's a 180, and it's it's because of these guys and their attitude and the work they've been putting in, winning six of our last eight, losing at Oral Roberts in one of those, and uh, I, I couldn't be more proud of this group and 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 how much better we got as this season went on. We were playing a, a really good brand of basketball late in the year. Thanks. We'll start over here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he, he's a great player and obviously he's super long at 7'5 or whatever he is. But, um, you know, I, I think our guys handled it pretty good for the most part. Obviously, you got some blocks here and there, but I think guys were coming to jump stops, driving, kicking, finding an extra guy. So, I mean, obviously, super tough playing against a good player like him, but I, I think some guys are out there making plays uh, in spite of that. <laughs> Uh, I would say, like, in the beginning, I, I had a little slow start. I was just getting used to the college basketball, the physicality. But uh, as the season went by, I think I matured a lot. Uh, I made the right plays, uh, saw, like, how I could take advantage of stuff and stuff. Uh, I really, I think I really improved a lot. In the back. Uh, this is for Mitchell. Uh, a couple different levels of play. Not uh, on Cambridge. A uh, couple different levels of play. Uh, college basketball coming to an end. What's what are you going to miss the most? I mean, definitely the relationships. Um, I mean, I love basketball, and you know, I've gotten a lot of opportunities and different things from basketball. But you know, at the end of the day, what carries on is uh, the guys, the memories you made, bus trips. I mean. That's kind of what it's all about. That's that's definitely what's going to stick with me. So, all right, thanks, Mitchell and BJ. You guys can head back to the locker room. Appreciate it, guys. Here you go, Mitchell. I want a water. Yeah, yeah. thanks, man. Grab your water. Cheers. Hydrate, baby. Hydrate. Hydrate. Hey, Coach. Uh, Brian all right, we'll go ahead with questions for Coach. Right here. Uh, Hi, Tim. Good. Good, good folks. Uh, just talk about, you know, the back half of the year, something that switched for you guys. Slow start to the conference season. Yeah. You know, switch up the style of play a little bit, and those can't win all the games. Well, you know, there was a lot of, we say FIO, figure it out. There's a lot of figure it out going for us during the season. We, we were playing a lot of guys, trying to figure out kind of where the pieces should fit. And then just, it's one of the hardest years, and I and I and I told these guys I absolutely love coaching this group of guys. They're just awesome, awesome. Um, but it was frustrating, and it was frustrating for them because when you're trying to play a lot of guys, it's really hard to develop roles the way you need to. 
And I think as the season went on, you know, we just had to make some decisions on roles and shorten that, shorten that bench a little bit. And I think as we shortened the bench, it really defined a little bit more and different style of play for us. Um, and you, you got to make tough choices. Uh, and, and it's not easy because, you know, there are some guys that are very good players for us that maybe didn't get those minutes as the season went on that they were getting. Um, but I think when that happened, it, we, we went on a little bit of a run. I thought guys defined the, we were able to define roles a lot better. Guys were understanding the roles a lot better and carrying, carrying those things over. And I think that helped just took time. Uh, and that, you know, that's on me. I mean, you know, we, maybe you should have done that earlier, but it just felt we, you know, we, we gave all these guys a lot of opportunities through this year to give themselves a chance to kind of show what they can do. Um, but at the end we were better. We were better as a team when we played seven, eight guys. And that's what it, that's what it ended up looking like. We'll go over here. They played with incredible energy, and they played with such great energy. They were everywhere. They're long, and, and they're athletic, and they're tough, and they're experienced. But, like, I just felt like every time, even when we made a pass where we felt we could get a catch shot, Matt, T, some of these guys that are pretty good at it, it, they just did it. They, did, they were always there on a swipe. They're always there on a quick rotation. Everything we did, they just took us out of rhythm. Their energy was amazing. And ours wasn't to that level. And, and you know, so much of this is, is, is you know, I, I compared it to Ford versus Ferrari, you know, 9,000 RPMs. They were running that car at 9,000 RPMs, and we weren't. They were, they were burning it hard, and we weren't. Doesn't mean we weren't trying. Doesn't mean we weren't playing hard. It's just... They they were running it like a fine fine tuned machine, and uh, defensively that's what it looked like. We'll go right here. Why not, Tim's question? So do you feel like you have something going in next year? Then yeah, a lot maybe more than you did. You mentioned a year ago, it's the one eighty. Feel like you have there now that next year. I hope so. Yeah, I gotta love this group, man. I'd love to coach him again. But we're, we're in a difficult time, man. Like, we just are. College basketball is a different world right now. And I'd love to coach these guys again. We'll see. Good answer. We'll go last question over here. Yeah, I mean, sure. You know, I think we gave big post troubles, too. I mean, I think it worked both ways, especially when we got it. You know, but the big fella, like at Denver, was a load, right? And there's a few other guys, but you know, it, it, we, we, you know, we got to get Brian healthy and get him right. I think he's a guy that's developing and he's got that size. And when he, when his energy's right and he's out there in the right frame of mind, man, like he really can have an impact and he's just got to keep developing, you know, don't he, he, big guys are funny. They, they don't always develop as quick and, and he, he, he's an awesome kid and I think he'll keep coming. Um, but, but uh, yeah, we got a, we got a young kid coming in from, uh, Bismarck Century, that's 6'10", 250, that's really, really skilled. Um, but but he's a freshman, right? So, you know, we got we to gotta evaluate where, where our roster is in the next few weeks, and we got to make some choices and figure out what's best for our team.